Hello, hockey fans, and welcome to another edition of the Ontario Rain Report. Joey and Lindsay back with you. First time in a long time for us is the rain storming into 2017 on a season-high six-game winning streak. But, Lindsay, certainly the good times rolling along for Ontario, especially since the last time that you and I talked. But this team playing some fantastic hockey, rolling into a new year. But from what you've seen from afar and here at Citizens Business Bank Arena, what's been the major key for this turnaround considering what we saw in the beginning of the season? Well, I think it's been two things. Uh, Jack Campbell has played great ever since he's kind of settled back in here to Ontario. I mean, the beginning of the season, getting called up, coming back. He's finally settled. He's played 13 straight games. The Rain, of course, are on a six-game winning streak here. And that dramatic New Year's Eve win was pretty impressive the way that the, way the rain were able to come from behind and I think also the addition of Teddy Purcell uh, his reassignment down here um, he's basically uh, been almost a point per game guy and um, him paired with Michael Mersch and TJ Hensick has been a fantastic line but now the rain dealing with a little bit of an injury to Michael Mersch. So the rain moving forward now, taking on Bakersfield, the outdoor classic, which we'll touch upon in a minute. But you bring up a key fact right there that the rain now rolling into a new year without one of their bigger weapons in forward. Michael Merce did not play in this last contest on New Year's Eve here at Citizens Business Bank Arena. But for a lot of fans, that was kind of a, a notable absence on the ice, had not missed a game at all prior to that contest. So what can you tell us about Michael? Right, well, Mike was hurt on, on Friday night in Stockton. Um, he played the rest of the game. So um, Stutz said today that he probably could keep playing had this had this been a playoff-type situation, but it's a lower body injury for him. I talked to Mersh uh, just a little bit. He gave himself kind of a 50-50 chance to, to be in the lineup on, on Saturday. Obviously doesn't really want to miss that outdoor game, but um, it's just kind of day-to-day -day for him right now. He's uh, not skating. Now for the rain this week, we mentioned it in yesterday's practice update, but kind of a rare week for Ontario to get a full week's worth of practice considering the travel schedule that the rain had with the holiday break and four games in a handful of days both before and after that. And then you look at the travel schedule ahead with Tucson, San Antonio, San Jose, day of game travels as well. It's going to be a pretty hectic month of January. So you mentioned the injuries, but for guys like Michael Mersch, Andrew Crescenzi, Zach Trotman, the list kind of goes on and on, unfortunately, for this group. But it's a nice week to see some of these guys heal up a little bit. Right. Well, this is the only time this season that the rain will have a full week's worth without having a midweek game and it couldn't come at a better time I mean we've already talked about Michael Mersch being injured but now we find out too that Joel Lowry is going to be out for an extended period of time with a lower body injury suffered on Saturday but like you said Joey the list goes on and on uh, Crescenzi skated just yesterday a little bit at the end of practice and Stuther said he was that Crescenzi was probably encouraged by that, but that Stuthers thinks he's probably still a ways away. Uh, Paul Bissonnette is still out. Zach Trotman, who we thought was going to be ready come this new year, we, no we now heard that he suffered a setback. So um, I think that recaps everybody, but it, it is a long list for the rain, unfortunately. Now for Ontario moving forward, they are going to play in this outdoor classic in the American Hockey League this coming Saturday against the Bakersfield Condor. Certainly a lot of hype off the ice around this game. Only the second AHL outdoor game in the state of California. And Lindsay, we've had an opportunity to catch up with a lot of the players and coaching staff leading into this contest. And certainly the hype is there, especially when it's the only game on your schedule. But what's been the response from the guys in the locker room? Well, the hype is there for the players. Um, I spoke to a couple guys today. I mean, there are a few players on the rain who have been through this kind of thing before. Uh, Michael Lada, Sam here. Mike Mersch played in one when he was at uh, Wisconsin, but um, Johnny Brodzinski said he's really excited. He never got a chance, a Minnesota boy, uh, to get a chance to play an outdoor game um, in high school, but um, Stuthers isn't as enthused um, <laughs> as the players are. I mean, he said that kind of outdoor games have ran their course, um, isn't looking forward to dealing with the elements, and found out just today that if there is rain, which it looks like there will be rain on Saturday night, that the, that the game will be moved up to 1 p.m. So just a lot of variables right now um, affecting that game. And if you don't already, be sure to follow Lindsay on Twitter at Rain Insider, and of course the Ontario Rain at Ontario Rain. They're going to have up to date information, ticketing information, parking information. The game is in Bakersfield, but as you mentioned, with inclement weather a possibility, the game originally scheduled at six could move all the way up to one o'clock. So certainly a lot of what ifs surrounding this contest, but it's going to be a lot of fun out there in Bakersfield. Now, Lindsay, you mentioned that head coach Mike Stuther's not as enthused. He's kind of that calming presence when it comes to an outdoor game with all the hype and the marketing behind it. As the rain come into this contest with a bit of a reputation to uphold. They'd spent a lot of time fighting throughout the Pacific Division and now find themselves in first place rolling into 2017. Stuthers getting the all-star nod in doing so, but it's kind of that, you know, yeah, it's fun to play outdoors and the hype around it, but at the same time, you need two points because you want to stay in that top spot. 
Well, they definitely want those two points, and I think Stuthers is just concerned about the weather like we were talking about and just the way that the ice could be maybe affecting the game. And then, you know, they don't want to deal with this affecting the following week, uh, you know, getting ready for a Texas midweek game, that sort of thing. Well, Lindsay, I appreciate your time joining us here on The Rain Report. It's been a little while, but we look forward to catching you up as The Rain getting ready for a very busy month of January. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Joy. For all information surrounding the Outdoor Classic and all things Ontario Rain, you can follow Lindsay at The Rain Insider as well as OntarioRain.com.